This is my mother. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's evident. <laughs> I would say she's strong, she's brave. My husband Jimmy and I got married in 1996. I would say he's the kind of person that if you met him in an elevator, he considered you his friend forever. I couldn't have asked for a better son-in-law for my daughter, and I couldn't have asked for a better father for my grandchildren. He enjoyed playing basketball, and he kind of just started saying, man, I'm just so sore, I'm really sore. He said to me, I think I might need to go to the doctor. Our primary care doctor called that next day. They basically just told us that it was stage four bladder cancer and the outlook was not good. This is when all of these angels got put in place. The nurse navigator said, your job now is to be there with him and my job is to get you where you need to be. And I never, from that day, made another appointment. Our home and our family, we just could focus on that. We heard about Dr. Haslam and they said he's the best. Because cancer is becoming more of a chronic disease, you really develop long-term relationships with these patients. We all have these uh, sorts of patients that just really stick with you, and Jimmy was one of those types of people. Jimmy, I remember as just being a really fun-loving, um, entertaining, uh, you know, really jovial uh, person. He was fun to be around. I looked forward to our visits because I knew that I was going to get as much out of it as he did. It was those types of visits that um, really helped us develop a friendship. He was diagnosed, oh, a good decade or so before I met him. When I met him, uh, ultimately he was uh, thought to have now an incurable urethelial cancer. I think a couple of things that uh, really stand out to me about Jimmy and his treatment is the fact that he really wanted to live life to, uh, to its fullest. His desire to concentrate more on the quality of life rather than the quantity of life really uh, made it easier to look at these different options. This is the one of the first times I really remember that I had a patient that I really focused on that shared decision making. And together between Jimmy, Celeste, and myself, we would come up with that, what we thought would be the best for him. It came down to the point where he was getting worse really fast. And they just kind of said, you've, you know, fought a good fight. And just, let's make you comfortable. There really have been a lot of advances in the way we think about cancer and the way we treat cancer. Taking a more holistic approach to somebody's care uh, really makes a difference. To be able to have a, a team that helps support the patient, not only physically, but also emotionally and mentally and spiritually as well, really help have a better quality of life during that uh, time period. If you are going through this, you need these people. Mm -hmm. As soon as I started to tell them what they had done for me, you could tell they were overcome. Some of them cried, and I said, you have no idea how much what you do helps. My first husband passed away, and so Celeste knew what it's like to have a father pass away. And as a mom, I knew what it was going to be like for her to have a husband pass away. And you can't explain that to anyone. I have been so touched by how you've cared for my daughter and her family that I'm so grateful that under Jimmy's name, he will care for other people. We love you, Maddie. We love you. I would rather do something behind the scenes and have no one know who, who did it mm -hmm. until I realized what a great legacy this will be for my kids. Because I can't change that he's not here a part of him that can live on. Hang in there. Here's my big hug. <laughs>